Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new tutorial from Konya's Arts. This one is full of flames, literally. I'm Sean Akpatwardhan and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create cartoony fire in After Effects with Trapcode Particular, which is a third-party plugin from Red Giant. Having said that, it's time to dive into the fire. Wait, what did I just say? Okay, so let's start by creating a flame first and then we'll create the embers and I'll show you how to create this kind of fire and you can modify it and replicate it the way you want and set fire to anything that you want. Also, you might have heard the saying, if you give a man a fire, he will warm himself. However, if you set him on fire, he will be warm for the rest of his life. Alright, so once you're in After Effects, go to Composition, New Composition. Uh, now let's start by creating the flame before we create the actual fire. So let's rename this composition to flame. Uh, this is 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS, and this is 20 seconds long. Press OK. Uh, let's create a new solid. Press Ctrl or Command Y on your keyboard to create a new solid. And let's add the particular effect. Now let's start uh, changing some of these properties here. This is, these are our particles. Let's change some of these properties. Go to the emitter options and change the particles per second to 600. Since we are creating a flame here, uh, these particles, I need them to generate from somewhere over here and travel to the top. So first of all, we don't need any velocity on these particles. So I'm going to change all of these velocity parameters to zero. Also, I'm going to move the position of this emitter down a little bit somewhere I, I think 900 on the y-axis will be a good starting point now go to the particle options and first let's change the size of the particle to 100 and the life of the particle will be 0.8 Also, I don't really need a feather on these particles, so the sphere feather, I'm going to change this to zero. And for the size over life, I need the particle to basically uh, generate at the full scale and go down. And at the end, it will be zero. So in the presets, we can just choose the second preset here. Also, the color of the particle, since this is a flame, let's make it fairly dark orange. I think this should work well. We can even desaturate it a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit. But no, I actually like it somewhere over here. This is a good point. Press OK. Now go to the Physics tab and open up the Air options. And in the Air, I'm going to change the Wind Y to minus 971. So this is our basic flame shape that we have right now the particles are traveling they're getting generated over here and they're traveling to the top and the size is decreasing in a linear way we have this kind of shape here now to make this look more like a flame we need to make sure that uh, it's not a straight line here so go to the turbulence field options and uh, change the position to 78 preview this a little bit also, now I just noticed something. I don't really need the flame to grow from the beginning of the composition. So I'm going to move the layer to the left so that the first part where the flame uh, sort of generates is cut. And then I'm going to uh, extend the layer to the right so that it fills the entire duration of the composition. And now if we preview this, we have a bit of a flame looking thing. I don't really need the starting point of this flame to be stationary. Uh, since it's a flame, it can move around a little bit. So for the position of the emitter, I'm going to add a wiggle expression here. Wiggle 2, comma, 20. Enter. So now we have a little bit of a wiggle at the starting point. That is what our flame looks like right now. Now let's create the embers first. 
since the embers and the flame uh, both use particular and a lot of these settings are similar, I'm just gonna duplicate the flame composition and rename this to embers. Sorry. Yeah. Open up the embers composition and in the particle settings, first of all, change the particles per second to 20 and remove this expression since we don't really need any, since we don't really need the starting point of the embers to move like the flame does. And for the velocity on this one, I'm gonna change this to 280. And for the particle life, I'm gonna, uh, actually I'm gonna keep it to 0 0.8. The size, change this to 30. And the size over life, I'm gonna use this fourth preset where it kind of um, scales up at the beginning and scales down at the end of this composition. And the rest of the settings, they are actually good to go. So now we have a flame and we have the embers. The embers kind of look like this. Don't worry about it right now because they don't look like embers. They kind of look like bubbles, but we will remedy that in a bit. Uh, now drag the flame composition to new composition. And let's rename this to composite. I'm gonna make copies of this flame and position them around the same flame to make it look like more of a fire than just a single flame. While I'm doing that, I'm also going to move these layers on the timeline so that the individual flames don't look the same. Select the flame composition and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. And I'm gonna scale this down a little bit and move it to the side so we have a little bit of a fire looking thingy. I'm just gonna duplicate it a few more times so that we have a slightly different pattern so that uh, you know it looks like fire also I'm gonna slide a few of these compositions on the timeline so that they don't look similar uh, the these flames kind of look different from each other and maybe duplicate it one more time Make it a different flame here and I'm gonna move this a little bit too so that it looks different from the others. Okay, I think this is not bad. Just need to make it look uh, different from each other so... So yeah, that's our fire. Now let's drag in the embers as well so we have this I'm gonna scale it down a little bit and uh, place them in between these so we have and I'm gonna uh, slide these as well slide one of these as well so that it's not the same as the other one all right so now we have our fire and embers and maybe the very first, the biggest flame that I have, I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to place it at the very top of this. And let's add a Gaussian blur to this. And change the blurriness to 110. And I'm going to add a blend mode to this. So if you click on these toggle switches and modes, you can reveal the blend modes. And I'm going to give this a classic color dodge so that we have a little bit of a gradient on this fire we need to add some effects on top of this so let's create a new adjustment layer here and I'm gonna rename this to FX for effects and let's add a turbulent displace Change the displacement to bulge smoother and the amount to 236. The size will be 37. So this is what it looks like. Now we need to offset this turbulence a little bit so that it looks like it's traveling from the bottom to the top. To do that, let's add a keyframe to offset turbulence at the very beginning of the composition. And let's go like nine, nine seconds on the timeline. 
and the, change the y on this to minus 5440. Now if we preview this, now this looks like the turbulence is traveling from the top to the bottom along with the fire. Now to make this look a little more like fire, let's add a glow to this. The glow will be based on alpha channel and the glow radius will be 170. And the intensity will be 1.1. And the glow colors will be A and B colors. And for the color A, let's give this a fairly dark orange again so that we have a nice subtle glow here. It can even be a little bit red, but no, orange is nice. The lighter you go, it looks different. You can change this to any color you want. And let's leave the color B to black. So this looks, this already has a start, this has already started looking like fire, but let's make it look better now. Uh, drag the composite composition to a new composition and let's rename this to main comp. Now let's scale this layer up a little bit and uh, place it in such a way that the bottom part of this layer kind of gets cut a little bit. Let's duplicate this layer and I'm going to change the blend mode on this layer to screen. Also, I'm going to scale this layer slightly so that we have a little bit of a different layer here. It adds a little bit of a depth to the fire and let's duplicate it one more time. And for this one, I'm going to add a brightness contrast effect to this. Change the brightness to 150. Also, I'm going to add a hue saturation effect to this. And I'm going to remove the saturation entirely on this so that it looks a bit different. Uh, you can even decrease the scale of this so that uh, it looks like it's glowing in the center. And we have these layers of fire around it. And just to make these look a little bit different from each other, you can just slide this slightly so they don't look the same. So that is basically our fire. Now just to add a background to this, let's add in the solid that we created earlier and let's give this a gradient ramp. Change this to a radial ramp and for this I'm gonna move the top point to the bottom and this point outside and I'm gonna swap the colors and for this I'm gonna change this to a very dark brown color so that we have a nice glow at the bottom of the fire and now if we preview this all right, fellas, that's it for now. Like and share the video, subscribe to Kanye's Arts, follow me on other social networks too for exclusive stuff and updates. Links are in the description of the video. And if you have any doubts or suggestions regarding the tutorial, you can post them in the comment section as well. Until the next time, Shonak over and out.